Welcome to Activations with JJ Ascension Message. In today's episode, we will be talking all about post 1111 energies and integration, as well as the significance of the Atlantean codes which dropped in during the 1111 portal. Hello, my friends. Welcome to you. I'm sitting here in this new timeline. I know a lot of you feel the same. There's the pre-1111 portal and the post-1111 portal. And it's definitely feeling like a different energy, a different timeline that we've jumped to, a totally different vibration. I have a few themes I want to cover today, some that I feel are extremely important in the wake of the 1111 portal because I feel like so many amazing topics have come through for me just since the 1111 portal. First of all, I want to touch on the 1111 portal itself, the events which I held, the themes which came through, and it was just incredible to be able to meet with all of you in the one-on-one sessions, the virtual gathering that I did, and then the in-person gathering I did in Los Angeles with a very esteemed and incredible teacher, Lama Tashi, who is a Buddhist monk and reports directly to the Dalai Lama. There's a lot about that particular event that I don't even have time to drop in today. For those of you who have done mentorship with me and are in my private Instagram group, you know I dropped in with an Instagram live and that was 45 minutes long just to recap all of the 1111 events. But I do want to share with all of you today some of the themes that came through. First of all, one of the themes that came through was we aren't bringing activation, we are calibrating you. So a lot of those who were in the 1111 portal sessions, I was simply calibrating their energy to receive the further energy that they got after I was meeting with them. So I'm curious to know how many of you felt after our one-on-one sessions. I also want to make sure that I remind all of you that is extremely important after such a powerful portal to begin to integrate. And you may need assistance integrating. In fact, One of my friends, uh, Monica with Healing with Monica, if you follow her on Instagram, she had a very interesting download for someone else about the 8-8 portal and having not yet integrated all of those energies. And right now we're at the 11-11. So it was kind of interesting because they're like, you know that portal three months ago, you still haven't integrated all that energy. So I'm like, ooh, red flag. Make sure everybody integrates the 11-11 portal energies here in the next two weeks. Take time to slow down. Another one of my friends, Allie Tucker, you can follow her on Instagram as well, and I'll post her link down below, but she mentioned that she had felt like it was very important to leave a lot of space over the next couple of weeks, and I know it's directly correlated to the energies of the 1111 portal. So what came through during the 1111 portal? Well, what came through is obviously calibrating people for more, but what I really feel what came through was the 5D Atlantean template. And what that means is, is that during the time of the golden age of Atlantis, which is said to be around a thousand years, the earth was glowing golden and the codes were golden. The vibration was golden. And this was the time of bliss and harmony and all of the good things, not the things about the destruction of Atlantis that we also know about, but the advancements that they made, the technology that they had, their proximity to source energy, their connection with the divine, All of those things flourished during the golden age of Atlantis. There was also a golden age of Lemuria. So when this stuff started dropping in during the 1111 portal, I was having a flashback to my November energy update when I mentioned themes for 1111. I was like, what does this have to do with the cross symbol that I had seen and the coming together of the divine feminine, the divine masculine? And then it occurred to me, pre-1111 portal, everything was coming in Lemurian for me, everything. All the sessions were aqua blue. All the people connected to Lemuria were coming through. All the past lives were coming through. Lemurian star mothers were coming through, and they came through in the 1111 portal too. But here's the thing. If you've read about the two civilizations, you may recognize that the Lemurian civilization represented a little bit more of the divine feminine. The Atlantean civilization represented a little bit more of the divine masculine. And so what I see now is, is the coming together of the Lemurian and Atlantean energies to create the new earth. In other words, we take the golden age of Lemuria, 
we take the golden age of Atlantis, we overlay those energies and those vibrations on top of one another. We create the framework for the new earth based off of that. And what does that mean? Well, for me personally, my work is expanding from solely working with individuals into working with entities like companies, as in entities that are organizations structurally uh, fit to have several individuals within them. This is something that came through at the 1111 portal gathering, the multidimensional channeling ceremony. My particular role during that ceremony was fascinating. I did end up channeling the Lemurian star mothers and they brought through a beautiful song and a beautiful message. But for the majority of that gathering, most people have no idea what I did because I was standing on the side of the audience. And what I was told was that I was channeling the energy of the audience to be able to expand it through body, light language. I was literally transmitting light language through my body and movement. And what was dropped in was the fact that my role would be switching from working again with one-on-one with people to working with businesses. In the wake of that, I've had one person after another coming to me, people that have already worked with me and they want help with their business because they know they're supposed to be helping bring in this 5D template. I know that I work very, very closely with the Galactic Federation. I've began to channel a lot more from them. In fact, our Galactic Federation gathering is actually Saturday, November 19th. Depending on when you listen to this, you may be able to hop in and register for that. I'll leave the link below, but I do that every month. So if you missed the November, you can come to the December. My work with the Galactic Federation is not slowing down. So not only will I be providing more content related to the Galactic Federation, but I'm sure I'll be repeating a Galactic Federation seminar series since we have upgraded and switched into a different timeline. Interesting things you're going to notice due to this switch. You're going to feel like a lot of things are invalid. You may feel like you need to refresh a lot of areas of your life, your business, right? And your personal life. In our Fairies and Elementals gathering from the 13th of November, which you can purchase the playback for that as well, but They came through and they said, everybody's going to want to get rid of all their clothing and they're going to want to switch out their clothing for new clothing because they're going to feel the energy of the old clothing. In fact, the fairies gave us all brand new energetic garments, which was super fascinating. They kind of wove them into our essence. That was really incredible. So there's a lot related to that. You're going to want to feel a lot more shedding of old. You are shifting into new timelines very rapidly. This is not the first shift that's going to happen in the coming months. And you are going to feel this over and over. So it's important for you to get used to it. One of the things that the fairies came in and said during our November 13th gathering, which it was so interesting because what happened was I had sent out a link to everybody. We went to hop onto Zoom. And one of you listening to this may understand why this happens, but all of a sudden it said the Zoom link wasn't valid. And I was five minutes before the gathering. So I had to sit there and go send out new Zoom links to everybody. And there were over 50 people (laughs) that came. And I couldn't even reach everybody. Some of you tried to get in and couldn't. I couldn't reach every single person. But the fairies jumped in and said, oh, we're sorry. We were just trying to test your ability to be able to pivot at a moment's notice and be able to shift. And we're trying to test your nervous system so that you all can calm down and stop freaking out when things like this happen. A lot of people actually, just a few, not a ton, a few couldn't get in and they said, well, I knew it was all for a reason. I said, well, the fairies were teaching us. The fairies were teaching us how to deal with change because this is not just about a Zoom link, my friends. This is about timelines. Do not freak out when everything feels different and it may not appear so on the outside. It's mostly inside. It's mostly the way your perspective is shifted. So let's switch into, other than this timeline stuff, let's switch into what the Atlantean codes mean, other than the fact that I talked about how we're overlaying the Atlantean and the Lemurian and they're coming together. These Atlantean codes also came through in the fairies gathering on November 13th. They just took advantage of that gathering like crazy. So again, I highly encourage you to grab the playback of that. They took us to our Atlantean past lives. We all received a book of some kind. Everybody's book looked different too. Some looked like paper. Some looked like this glass tablet. Some looked like crystal because I could see them with my third eye. These are codes to bring through the 5D template. Those of you who are being called to work with the 5D template, 
who are potentially architects of the 5D template, blueprint makers in the Atlantean times, I am going to be creating an offering for you in January. I just know it. I'm starting to gather you. If you are individually feeling called to come forth and to co-create with me, just reach out because I know some of you out there are like, oh my goodness, that is me. I do not know what all this stuff means. What I have been called to do is help put puzzle pieces together for some of you. I firmly believe that. It has come through very powerfully over the next little while, and I'm not the only one. Some of you may also feel called to put puzzle pieces together for others. So we all have our roles. We all have our contracts with each other, and we have stepped into the Atlantean contract as a collective to bring through more Atlantean codes. It dropped into me just recently that several people who are in the corporate world, who are working with, especially those in the tech industry, are going to need to increase their connection with the divine, increase their clairs. And what's going to happen is a lot of what they receive with regards to these Atlantean codes are coming through their clairs and also light language. I'm feeling drawn to produce more light language related to these codes. And what Spirit said is a lot of people are not calibrated to receive light language still. It's coming in really foreign to their ears and into their bodies. And so what Spirit has encouraged me to remind people is have them get used to different kinds of light language. It's just so much easier for us to bring through information with light codes than it is through your English language or your other languages. Light codes are just a more rapid way for you to receive the downloads that we're trying to send over. But you definitely have to be calibrated because you all know you've listened to my reels if you're on Instagram. Some of that stuff resonates and some of it doesn't. And that's still okay. But for the most part, we need to get to a point where we can discern and know what's for us, receive it, and utilize it. I feel like there are a lot of my past reels that people could go back and listen to and other additional information will drop in now that we are post 11 11 because I truly believe that some of us were not calibrated to receive the depth of the codes contained in those reels in those light language snippets but now we are so I want to challenge you and invite you to go back and listen to some of those old reels especially the ones that call to you Take a journal out, listen to them on repeat three or four times and see what comes through because not only are you going to increase your ability to receive light language, everybody's channel is opening and you are all going to start channeling a lot of information because we need it. We need it to step into this 5D grid. The last thing that I want to drop in and mention here has to do with the upcoming priestess portal that I am co-creating with my amazing, incredibly powerful friend, Amron. What is happening in that portal is going to be magical. In fact, I've been receiving downloads from Isis about bees and honeycomb. And for those of you who are related to that or associated with that, or that resonates with, you know what I'm talking about. The priestess, as it connects to the honeybee, and there's definitely some really powerful new energy coming through. Now, the interesting thing about it is I know a lot of people out there deal with the order of the bee, the mystery school of the honeybee, and all of these things are out there. I am not oblivious to that fact. And I, in fact, honor what everybody has been bringing through before me, before I even came through with this. So I sometimes wonder if I'm redundant. And I ask my guides and I say, why are you having me bring this through if it's already there? And what happened with this particular time was my guides told me that in this priestess portal, which begins officially on December 2nd, we will have ongoing access to it. But for a certain time period, the portal doors will be shut right at December 1st, you know, at midnight, I guess, is what we're planning on doing. But there's something about the calibration. There's something about the energy there and the container there that has to be paused. So, you know, we can only have who comes in before that. But what is happening is Isis came through last night and told me, you have to understand this is connected to DNA. This is so deep. 
And so what happened was she was associating it with a book I'm reading called Gene Keys. I know many of you are familiar with that book. And so essentially what I'm noticing is that this honeybee order, this priestess portal, this all of these things that are coming through really potently are related to our DNA. And I know that some of these orders of priestesshood were connected to activating the DNA along with the divine masculine. But what came through was that these schools of mystery are the divine feminine. The schools of revelation were the divine masculine, and those have not dropped in fully yet. They have not been resurrected on our planet in their fullness. There are men out there who are starting to feel the call to bring through and to bring back the schools of revelation, which were distorted and hijacked by re organized religion. And if I am talking to you, you know who you are. I feel like you need to be called forth and I feel like I need to breathe confidence into you and help you trust yourself. This is needed. I have not been called to do it. You know if you have been and I want to invite you to step into that. Now, if I can help in any way, shape, or form, if you are one of these men who knows that you have been called to rejuvenate and resurrect and bring back these schools of revelation, these orders of, of priests and, and priestesses are in all of these, then I want you to reach out and let me know because I want to be a support to you. We've got to work hand in hand. For the orders of the priestesses can only move as fast as the orders of the priests. And that doesn't mean that they're always on equal footing. It just means the pace at which they are shifting needs to be fairly in alignment. So I want to drop that in. That's my final message. If you need more information about the priestess portal, you can check out the links below. I am so grateful to have you here co-creating with me. I am sending you so much love, reminding you to take time and slow down and integrate. And then finally, my favorite phrase, I am you and you are me and we are we. Until next time. <laughs>